Tina, a Sorry, bill the member's time has expired. me not to pay a ticket price to go and view. Called Julianne Gender. Mr. Speaker, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I'd like to thank the member who's brought this bill to the House, um, and I think that. It is worthy of debate and consideration, absolutely, the proposal that there are certain sporting events that should be able to be watched by every New Zealander, and they should be available. And I think that that's a fundamental principle of the Green Party's broadcasting policy, is that we should have 100 per cent accessible broadcasting. We should have support for a wide range of publicly available free-to-air content, and even though the um, mode in which that content is delivered is in flux and is changing at the moment, um, it is fundamentally important that there is public support for content and for access. And without uh, you know, a public broadcaster, uh, we've seen that it's not possible to get good quality content that is available to everyone. And I think that um, some of the government members' speeches tonight have demonstrated uh, how the narrow view of user pays um, or uh, you know, number of eyeballs watching a particular show de determines whether or not it gets public funding is not a model that is going to deliver the things that are really important to New Zealanders. And there are things that are of immense cultural and social importance to New Zealanders. Um, that, we'll get to that, Simon. We'll get to that. Um, there are things that are incredibly important to our identity as a country. And what other countries around the world have found, and what um, particularly small countries have found, is that it's vitally important to have that public investment in public broadcasting. Um, and as the member who's sponsoring this bill noted in his speech. Um, there are a number of countries around the world who do have similar provisions as what is proposed in this bill. And then it ensures that those people in Canada or the UK, um, um, in Australia, are all able to watch those sporting events that are of great importance to the nation. And, I, and, and so the Green Party supports investigation of, of this bill. We, we, we support the investigation, and I think that the government member's speeches tonight um, have very much focused on who's going to pay for it, what's the cost of this, and I think, I think it is important that we understand, because I think Trevor Mallard's speech, the Honourable Tre Trevor Mallard's speech, speech um, did indicate that there are potentially quite a lot of fish hooks with this bill, the way that it has been drafted, and so that would be something that we would be extremely concerned about during the select committee process. Um, but fundamentally, this comes back to values. And what I've found out there talking to New Zealanders is that a lot of New Zealanders really value those uh, national sporting events. And they're really upset that people have to get a subscription to Sky Television to see many of them. And the fact that so some of these events are of such great value to New Zealand was reflected in the fact that the government made the decision to buy the rights for the New Zealand Rugby World Cup in 2011 so that all New Zealanders could watch it free to air live while it was, those games were being played here in New Zealand. Um, and um, and so, so clearly the government does understand that at times there are really important events, but they, they're the exception rather than the rule. And so I think what we have to think about is what is of real importance to New Zealanders. And then we say that's important to us. This is something we want to share, and it should be available to everyone. And by the way, um, all of that should be captioned. That's not in this bill, but it should all be captioned so that it's accessible to everyone. And the reality is that with the changes in the media environment um, and um, uh, electronic equipment and filming equipment, it's actually getting much, much cheaper to, to film these events and to broadcast them on a variety of mediums. So um, it's quite possible that the cost of that will come down and we'd have to, well, the, the, real, the real cost that we would have to investigate would be the support for sport in schools and for some of these sporting clubs. What I, what I do like about this bill is that um, it includes uh, women's sports as well as men's sports. I think that's really important. And um, of course, the Green Party um, would have to consider what the full cost implications would be. But I think that it's safe to say that if something is important to New Zealanders, we can get behind it 
Everybody should be able to watch these, these sporting games, and we should find a way to make it happen because it is possible. I'll open Senator Sam Lutowinger.